joined in the studio by international affairs analyst Marco Vincenzino. Um, thank you for coming in. Um, is it her time? Is America ready for a woman president? The, the message she would like to deliver is that with Barack Obama, America, it, it went beyond the racial gap. And with her, with Hillary, you'll be going on the gender gap. That's generally the idea that wants she would like to be conveyed. It's time for a woman. She didn't play much on that on the 2008 election because she thought it would be a risk of being seen as too soft. But this time around, about a year ago, when she launched her memoir, Hard Choices, that was a specific theme that was very much emphasized. Hillary as a grandmother, Hillary as a mother, Hillary the woman, Hillary who wants to identify with working class mothers and middle class mothers who are struggling in modern America. Does that play with people, the whole softer side? The, uh, she was criticized last time around, wasn't she, for being too pre-programmed, not much character. But as you said, she is a grandmother, she's a little softer now, she's showing her character. Do people like that sort of stuff? The problems in 2008 is a she became too complacent. She approached it with a sense of coronation, that it was, well, quote unquote, it was her time. Mm. This time she has to go out and earn it. And this time Americans must know who Hillary Clinton is as a person, not just a professional, the wife of, you know, the first lady of the United States, the senator from New York, you know, the secretary of state. I think in terms of experience, she's seasoned and people are not questioning that. But ordinary Americans want to identify with the person of Hillary Clinton. And that's where many questions still lies and she has to answer. She knows what she's doing there, doesn't she? She's been here many times before, twice with her husband, once in 2008. The fact that you know the ropes surely must help. She has an entire team and machinery that's been with her, with her and her husband, because remember, the Clintons are a partnership. It's not just Bill, it's not just Hillary. It's a partnership, and those who surround them as a team of advisors that go back well to the late 70s, early 80s, when he was governor of Arkansas, and that grew with him throughout the 80s, the 90s, when he was president, when she was running for secretary of state. So this, she's seasoned she's experienced she has very seasoned advisors around her and above all she has a lot of money around her the entire Democratic Party establishment is behind her while in the last election some was with her some with Barack Obama and as time went by more of them backed Barack Obama you talk about the partnership though her and Bill is her husband a help or a hindrance here a liability and an asset a li an asset in the sense that he has enormous experience probably one of the intellectually one of the most gifted American president in decades liability at times he has his ability to shoot off his mouth which he did in early 2008 during one of the primaries he said something that was seen in terms of a racial context which began to shift towards Barack Obama or accelerated there was already a shift towards Barack Obama but his statement particularly the, the Bill Clinton was lo well loved by black America but after he made that statement, many accelerated towards Barack Obama so experience yes an asset his ability to control his words, he has to be very careful about. It isn't just about her, though, is it? She'll be defending eight years of her party's rule. I mean, there's a lot of baggage sure. that goes with that. Definitely. Particularly, she would be more on the foreign policy front because she was Secretary of State, and she clearly had differences with Barack Obama, and many of those differences were expressed in the memoir that came out in the middle of 2014, particularly on issues like Syria. Syria is one place where they differed, and many other areas where she said that America need not be so apologetic about its foreign policy as Barack Obama as one. There was a Syria issue and many other issues which she has already tried to distinguish herself from Barack Obama. And just very, very briefly, very uh, successful Secretary of State, but she really does divide opinion, though, doesn't she? She can be a polarizing figure, uh, but for many, when she was has eight years, she, the, the years she spent as Senator from New York, she proved her ability to reach across the aisle. And many Republicans who were very much against her, once she became Senator and worked with her, warmed to her and said she's someone who can shift to the center and they can work with. But she, yes, she still remains very polarizing for many in the, in the American public. It's fascinating stuff. And it's going to be interesting. Issue, and the trust issue in particular. That's one that she has to overcome. Okay, Marco Vicenzi, you know, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. it. Cheers.